I'm Joe Dillette, and I want to introduce you to Joe's compact bat system. And I want to teach you how to make it. So, this consists of a bat that you have inserts, and these inserts can be made out of any material. I make uh, some here out of plexiglass. You can make it out of uh, any type of absorbent material or any material that you prefer for a bat. Uh, it will all work in this system. So the first thing you do is you take a standard uh, commercial bat. Uh, you can use plastic. You can use any type of bat. Uh, this is a plastic uh, bat and um, it is one eighth inch thick. So what I do is I take this bat and I cut it out into a shape. The first shape will include the two bat pins. Uh, then the next piece interlocks like a jigsaw puzzle to hold it onto the wheel head. So, uh, and then the insert gets put inside. So, uh, let's go ahead and make the bat. So, the first thing you do is you draw inch and a half diameter circles around the two bat pins. Now, we have one round one, and this one has got square corners on the top, and that's so you always orientate at the same way on the uh, bat head. So by making the both circles round then you just square this top off. And then the distance here from the center of the holes down to this ledge here is an inch and a half also. So uh, what you want to create is an interlocking puzzle to where the piece will interlock together and it won't slide apart without being raised up. So that one, that it will hold together like that. Now the other thing we have to do is when we saw this out, there is the kerf of the saw. So this is a distance that we must compensate. So we don't cut the center square out until we separate these two pieces. So you're going to come and you're going to cut around, you're going to come straight across here without cutting the square out and cut this shape out. Then we're going to push that in the furthest most uh, distance apart and then draw a seven inch square. Exactly seven inches is what we need. The advantages of Joe's compact bat system is that you have a small seven inch square bat that you store it on the shelf taking up less room than a whole larger bat like this. So you can put more pieces on it. The other advantages of uh, over other bats that use this type of a small square insert is that this raises off of the wheel head much easier. So there's no jerking, there's no, um, uh, you, it, this just slides off uh, very easily without putting any uh, undue stress on the pot that you just thrown. So the way it goes on the wheel head is you first put on the part that has the bat pins. So that goes on. And then the next piece that nests together put together like a jigsaw puzzle. Then this center square, the seven inch square bat, fits in the center. So you push it out so you're at the end of the kerf. You put that in and it fits fairly tight so it doesn't wiggle. Now when after you're done turning and you want to take the pot off, sometimes the, the lip is so large the, uh, the, that you can't raise the bat up and uh, so the advantage of this bat is that you just raise up the interlocking part, this part right here without the hole, just raise it up enough that it's going to clear its mating part and you slide it off the wheel this way. 
So it takes very little height under, so if you have a large plate or something, uh, then you aren't going to hit that plate. Just an eighth of an inch clearance is all you need, or quarter of an inch, because this is a quarter inch thick bat. So you need to raise it up a quarter of an inch so it clears its mating part and just pull it out. Then your piece is on the seven inch square center. That is just a matter of sliding it right off to the edge and picking it up off of the wheel head. So, uh, and then you store it and so then when you want to throw your next piece, you put this back on and now you put your center piece in. It's solid, ready for the, to throw your next piece. Now, a coping saw like this uh, will work to saw out the shape, but uh, I'm going to be using a scroll saw. Either a coping saw or a scroll saw is necessary because the blade is very narrow, and that is the kerf. The kerf is how much material the width of the blade is taking out. Remember I said we don't want to cut the center out yet because we don't know exactly the size. What we have to do is uh, finish this cut, separate the two, and then put a wedge in there to pull them apart the width of what the kerf of the blade took out because it's going to be a little bit loose. We pull that thing as far apart as it'll go, separate it, then we will mark our dimensions for the seven inch square that is going to go in the inside. Once There, the two parts are separated. So now we've got the two parts separated and we need to cut that center uh, square out, seven inch square. You see the width of the kerf of the saw made it with that much slop. So what we want to do is hold it as far apart as we can so when we put that seven inch square in here that it will keep it separated so it won't slop back and forth on the wheel. So what I did is I made some wooden wedges, just some small wedges to put into the saw cut to keep that spread as far apart as possible. Then I will take the one of my squares that uh, now these are cut on the table saw and they're cut accurately at seven inches square so what I want to do is look for those marks that I made that I scribed on the circle and just touch the corners of those and then I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going to scribe and that's going to give me and I'm going even a little bit tight right up next to it there we've got the square cut out one so we're sanding around the holder here to get this piece in uh, seven inches square and uh, we've just about got it all right, it goes all the way in, but it's a little bit too tight to insert. So what we have to do is uh, just sand a little bit more to loosen it up. But we don't want to go too loose because uh, then this piece is going to slop in here. We don't want any slop. Just uh, test this out. Flip it around different ways to make sure that the bat is going to fit in all different directions. So I hope you enjoy using my new holder. It sure saves space on the shelf. You can make the insert bat out of anything.